Hey people, so I've been shamefully trying to draw a chi-square table across tabulation for the past couple of minutes. Uh, let's pretend that the lines are straight and everything is groovy. All right, so All right, yes and abnormal. Let's suppose that we have this table and we're looking at the relationship between a, t a lab test that has two categories, normal and abnormal, and some other factor, maybe smoking. So yes, the person's a smoker, no, they're not a smoker, okay. So let's put some numbers in this table. So say we observed three cases of a yes and an abnormal, three cases of a normal and a yes, two cases of an abnormal and a no, and one case of a normal and a no. Okay, for you to calculate, first of all, these numbers are observed. You observe them. You had nothing to do with this. You just happened to collect this. And that's that's what observe means. It means I was just an innocent bystander. I didn't do it. Okay? Now, according to the chi-square statistic, and more, more important, more specifically, the this, this concept of an expected value, you have, there's an expectation. That didn't sound too smooth. Expectation. Why did I say it like that? You get the point. So there's an expected value for each one of these cells. And your chi-square test compares your expected to your observed. So if you wanted to calculate your expected, it would be, and by the way, these numbers are too low for you to do uh, a chi-square test, you should really get a sample size calculation, but let's just keep going, okay? Um, all right, so let's put these totals in for the rows and for the columns, okay? And so how do you calculate the expected value for each one of these cells? You're gonna go row total times column total for this cell, which will be 30 over how many are in here? Nine, right? So 30 over nine. This one is going to be 24 over nine. I just want to check my numbers. 15 over nine. And this is 12 over nine. Okay. So if we were to simplify this, we would see, eh, off the top of my head, I would say this is around three, this is around two, this is around uh, one, a little over one, this is a little over one. Okay. Wait a minute, this one. One is three, this is four thirds, yeah, it's a little over one. Sometimes, like, I get something right and I'm surprised. All right. So, for expected value, just remember it's your total uh, column, excuse me, row, times your column, corresponding column. So, whatever the cell, wherever the cell is in terms of coordinates. So, it has row and column coordinates you're going to multiply the corresponding totals and divide by the, the grand total to get the expected value. And so your chi-square test is just looking at the distance between your expected value. Let's put a little QE in here so we know what we're doing. This is observed. Observed. And saying, hmm, Overall, in general, the larger your chi-square test statistic, the more likely it is it's, it's, it's significant, okay? But you don't have to do this by hand. 
you have software. I'm just showing you that when you're thinking of the chi-square test, think about what is needed to generate that chi-square test st statistic. Think about it that way. Because if you think of it that way, you won't have trouble confusing it with some other test that's needed. Okay? So, this was just a quick tutorial on the expected value and how to calculate it for each cell. Have a lovely day.